And welcome. Let's take a look at the top story that we are tracking for you this hour. Now, U.S. President Joe Biden has signed an order to keep the country's refugee cap at a historically low number of 15,000. Now, this contradicts the plan that he had been considering, which aimed to raise the cap to 62,500. The U.S. is now likely to offer refugee status to a wider part of the world than what had been allowed by Biden's predecessor, Donald Trump. Now, this means out of 15,000 refugees will be allowed from Africa, 1,000 from East Asia, 1,500 from Europe and Central Asia, 3,000 from Latin America and the Caribbean, 1,500 from the Near, and, uh, Near East and South Asia, and 1,000 slots are uh, for an unallocated reserve. Now, this decision comes as a big disappointment to refugee advocates. They had hoped that Biden would reverse the policies framed by Donald Trump, who had also limited the number of migrants to 15,000. Currently, there are 35,000 refugees already vetted and cleared for entry to the U.S. And there are more than 100,000 more refugees at various states in the pipeline. Now, the United States is once again grappling with an increase in the number of migrants who are seeking entry into the country. The influx of migrants has created a humanitarian and political challenge for President Joe Biden. During his presidential campaign, he had vowed to treat migrants more humanely than Donald Trump. The Biden administration has allowed children traveling alone and some families with kids to enter the U.S. to claim asylum. But the new government is still resorting to a Trump-era measure that calls for many unauthorized migrants to be expelled.